Friday, October 29th. Yes, 29th. I am coming to you from my bedroom with my messy bed hair. And I have a parent-teacher conference today, this morning, so I don't have to leave, or I can't leave as early. I have to be home to do the Zoom with my son, and then I can head to work. And I did all my charting yesterday, so I'm good to go. I have my Halloween nails. These are by Color Street. It's not really focusing well. <clears throat> so we got orange and that this is kind of like not quite black but like a night sky and I am working on the spider socks Let's see if I can hold it for you <clears throat> I really wanted to finish these today or for today because I think that's when the spooky sock along ends but it's not gonna happen I'm on the heel flap um while well, I'm on the gusset decreases so we'll see. It's fine. <clears throat> I think it's going to be a gift for someone special, but I can't say who it is because they watch the podcast or, well, they watch both. <coughs> Excuse me. Ever since COVID, I wake up with a little bit of a cough, which I'm told is normal. So that's fine. Um, let's see. So yesterday I didn't vlog much. I actually haven't vlogged much this week. I worked really long hours over the weekend. I had a lot of um, late night calls for people who were having some issues and needed a nursing visit. So and then Monday, I couldn't quite catch up. Tuesday is full of appointments and um, like weekly appointments. So it's just been not so. <laughs> and by the time I finished my charting last night, I just, I just wanted to knit and go to bed. So I've been going to bed at 11, which is totally not good for me in the morning. I'm just like a total bear and don't feel good. <clears throat> so last night I put myself to bed at like 9.30 and I feel great. Today I got up to my first alarm. I set five. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so my plan today is to do the parent-teacher conference and go to work. I have a busy schedule. Hopefully it's not too bad. And then we are going to pick up a used washer. So a few months ago, our dryer died. So we bought a dryer from Home Depot. <clears throat> and it took four months to get here. So I didn't really want to do that with the washer. And we've been spending like $100 a week at the laundromat. <clears throat> and I'm just over that. So we're picking that up today. So <laughs> I haven't been doing laundry this week because I don't want to spend money at the laundromat if I'm buying a washer today. So I have had to buy scrubs twice this week because I don't have enough for the whole week. So I'm gonna be wearing brand new scrubs today. They're in my, there's like a reddish scrub color. Maybe like a wine, not quite a wine color. I don't know, you'll see. So um, I'm finishing a couple of Vlogtober videos and then I'm going to take a shower, get ready for the teacher conference I can knit during that head to work rush home run back to Barry to get a washer and then I'm hoping we can go get the washer like as a family because I have been begging my kids to go help me get Halloween costumes for them and they just keep brushing me off <clears throat> and I have no idea what the selection will be and it's way too late for me to help them make it I am going to be the Mad Hatter and so I found like a headband with a little hat on top and you can adjust the hat so it can be straight or off to the side so I off to this side <clears throat> I took a note card folded it in half um package taped around it so it's kind of like laminated after I wrote 10 over 6 which is uh 10 pence 6 shillings which is how much a hat would have cost and I've got it kind of hot glued over on the side here um so I'm pretty excited about going trick-or-treating because I'm a little kid I mean I don't get the candy but I just love showing my costume off and then there's like three or four different Halloween events I want to go to and my family doesn't seem enthused so I'm going to try to like beg and encourage them to do a couple things because I get excited about that stuff <clears throat> and my poor son my second oldest was born a week before Halloween 
and I always decorate the house and for the longest time I was doing those little window sticker things which are kind of cheesy but they're fun <clears throat> so this year his one request was to not have the house crazy which I did because we got sick so um it didn't end up being crazy and I didn't do any window clings because he didn't want me to do window clings so hopefully he'll be happy with that um he seems okay so far but he doesn't Feel like doing anything Halloweeny this weekend and my youngest is the only one who's excited about it is this what it's like when you have teenagers like they just don't want to do fun things anymore like they think we're boring but they're boring I don't know all right I'll take you along today okay so I come outside look at this look at this crap friggin ice not frost ice friggin ice <sighs> at McDonald's picking up a very unhealthy lunch and um, the line is wrapped around the building so I am doing a smart, not smart thing and putting my car into park every time the line stops and trying to do a page or two of my charting. <laughs> so snip of a home health nurse. Don't do this at home or in your car.